You can add even the governor to the Tennesseans baffled by the raids of homes and offices of lawmakers and former staff. I know very little about that. Um, there's been no FBI outreach to us. It's unclear what the corruption investigation focuses on, but here's how all seven are connected. Cassida is the conduit to them all. Cade Cothran is his former aide. Carol Simpson, his longtime assistant. And Holt Witt also once worked for him. Representative Smith and Representative Warner are Cassida's fellow House Republicans. And Nadine Corby is an assistant to House Republican Kent Calfee, who is not believed to be under investigation. Most are connected to two political controversies, also linked to Cassida. The first, this fake Republican Twitter account criticized Cassida and other Republicans. Representative Warner took the seat of a lawmaker who was later tied to being the account's creator. Then there was the school voucher vote in which Cassida's office was heavily scrutinized for pressuring votes. Representative Smith voted for that bill. The only one not clearly connected is Corby, although she is friends with Cade Cothran on social media. The House Speaker who took Cassida's position is also confirming all may lead back to the controversial lawmaker. Since becoming Speaker, I was contacted by federal authorities regarding an ongoing investigation related to the former Speaker's office. Again, we still don't know exactly what federal agencies are investigating. All of those search warrants are now sealed. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they have no comment on the investigation.